Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, uh, today I'm going to show you something just a little bit different. A lot of people ask me about uh, how I get TV reception at my cabin. Uh, and there's a number of different ways you can get it if you live in a remote area. Satellite works just about everywhere. Uh, as long as you can get a view of the sky where the uh, satellite uh, tracking path is, which is pretty much the entire sky, you can get a satellite reception signal. Uh, the other option is uh, over-the-air uh, TV. If you are within 100 miles or so of a booster station, uh, you can generally get over-the-air channels in a lot of areas. I happen to be about 50 miles away from a booster station, and I can get pretty good over-the-air channels. We get about 20 uh, over-the-air channels completely free, uh, as long as you get an antenna. Now, I've had a, uh, a large antenna up on my pole out front, but uh, the wind and some birds decided to make a mess of it. They tore it up uh, pretty good, and it hasn't been getting good reception for quite a while. And while I don't watch a lot of TV, I do like to watch a movie or a show every once in a while, so I like to have an antenna. And uh, I decided rather than have my TV and also my laptop going at the same time, they make a device, and I'll show it to you here, that you can actually hook your TV into your laptop or your computer, and you can actually record, which is nice, you can record the uh, shows, you can set your channel and your timer on your computer to record the show, so even if you're not there, if you like watching a series or something like that, you can go ahead and it'll record it, and then you can watch it later, so that's kind of nice. So uh, here's my setup, what I'm going to put together here. I'm going to use a, a different kind of antenna. Uh, and this is just a small antenna. It looks kind of big, but you can actually see I'm holding it out there. Uh, it's actually not very big. Uh, it's only about uh, three feet long and about uh, two feet wide. And uh, it comes uh, from RCA. And I just bought this from Amazon. It was about, I think, about $39, so about 40 bucks for the antenna. And it comes with... Uh, the mast, you can see it's got this pipe here uh, for the mast, and it comes with a mast hookup. And this is a lot like hooking up a satellite dish, it looks like. Uh, it comes with the instructions. It's made by RCA, and it was real fast delivery. I got it within uh, two days just on free shipping, and uh, about 40 bucks for the antenna. Now, this is supposed to have a, a distance of about 50 miles, which is, happens to be just about the distance of my... Uh, booster so I'm hoping that it will get good reception I haven't hooked it up yet so we're still hoping but uh, then what you will also need is one of these units here and this one is made by Hopage uh, it's probably the top brand when I looked on I did a little research on it uh, and uh, you can get some other brands but it, these run about forty nine dollars for this model here on Amazon and uh, what it is it's got a little dongle that goes into a USB. It's got a USB port on one side and then on the other end it's got a standard uh, cable connector for your antenna. So basically what you do is you run your wire from your antenna into the house and then you can screw it into this dongle and then when you want to watch TV you just plug the dongle into one of the USB ports on your computer and uh, then you can use the programming on it. Most computers if you got Windows 7 already has the uh, viewing program on the, t the computer and it will just automatically pick up the signals. If not, you can download the programs that will do that from Windows and, and then you can record it. Uh, you can set it to record the channel and watch it later or you can watch it while it's coming in. So anyway, that's what we're going to hook up today. I'm going to go up on the roof. You don't need to follow me up there and I'll go install that antenna up there and then I'll hook up my cable and we'll try this out on my laptop and see what kind of uh, signal we get here at the cabin. Okay, so I got the antenna up here on my roof. That was pretty easy. I uh, just screwed it to the uh, the frame on the roof there. And uh, because of the angle of my frame, it kind of sits a little bit odd. Uh, but it's got plenty of support there. And then I just uh, turned my TV on and uh, angled it to where I know the direction of the booster, which is over that mountain over that way, about 50 miles, probably about 40 miles. Anyway, there's my old antenna, as you can see. It's all busted apart, and it actually sits on the old power pole that is here. And people always ask me, why do you got a power pole if you got off-grid? Well, if you notice, that power pole now holds my wind turbine up there. And uh, those wires go out there to the pole next to the road, but there's no transformer on that pole. Uh, about 30 years ago, when my brother had this property, he did not uh, want to keep the, the paying for the monthly utility for having the transformer. And so the power company, to get even, come up and ripped out the transformer. 
and so I've never put the transformer back in, so there's no power to this property. But the pole, he paid for the pole, bought it when he had the property, so the pole actually belongs to me now since I own this property and traded him up for a piece of property I had. So I used the pole, and I've been using it for my wind turbine up there and for my big antenna. But that big antenna is kind of falling apart, and I really don't like it uh, where it is, and so I'm going to take that down. I won't have that there anymore. And now I'll just have this little one, and it'll be a whole lot easier if I need to adjust it, which we occasionally do. We get a windstorm that kind of moves them around a little bit, and you lose reception. I can get out here and easily adjust this one from the roof. And uh, so that's, that's the antenna. So now I'll go ahead and I'll show you that little unit, the USB unit, so you can watch TV on your computer if you don't want to watch it. These also work with your TVs. You don't have to use the USB connector. It'll work with any TV uh, that will pick up air digital transmission or air over, over the air channels. But I want to be able to watch it on my t on my computer and record the channel. So let's go use that unit and see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting uh, good reception on my TV, and I do use this TV, but mostly in the summer when I got lots of extra power, then I'll put the TV on. In the winter, I don't like using my extra power running a TV and my computer at the same time. And uh, the new LED TVs are a lot better, lower watts. You can actually get them that only use about 10 watts. This one uses about 70 watts. It uses the same power as my computer, which is quite a bit to run both of them uh, during the winter time. So I don't want to run it during the winter time. And eventually I'm going to get one of those LED TVs uh, that use a lot less uh, power. And I'd recommend that for an off-grid situation. But you can see I, I get good picture uh, on this, pretty decent picture uh, on this TV here. So now I'm going to hook it up to my laptop and see if I get just good. Okay, so now I've got this hooked up to my uh, laptop computer here, and uh, you're going to see some raster lines, some funky lines going through. That's because anytime you try to record a computer screen with a camera like this, those lines show up. But uh, when I'm looking at it, I can tell you it's a beautiful picture. It's a really, really great picture. But uh, those raster lines, you're going to see those. That makes it look just a little bit funky because computer screens run at a slower raster than what the uh, video is recording, so that's why you see those. Anyway, you can see it gets a good picture, and then it comes with a uh, installation disc, and then if you look, when you click on this up at the top, you can see right there you got a control box up at the top that comes up, so you can control all your different channels, and you can see it's got a record button, so if you want to record, set this to record a certain time, where you can record your shows. That's really nice, because if I'm watching a series, I don't want to miss one episode of the series, uh, so I want to be able to record my series, so that will be really nice. Now, uh, this will work with both digital channels, and I get about seven good digital channels. It will also work with analog channels. If you don't get good digital channels, you may need to get a booster. Now, I'm going to turn the sound down on this just so we can talk. Uh, if you don't get good digital signals, you can get a booster and add to this, and that will bring in your digital signals better. I get uh, about seven really good digital signals here. Uh, a lot of the older shows and Dalton Abbey and all those uh, good PBS shows that I like to watch. Uh, and uh, the the uh, westerns and all that sort of stuff and masterpiece theater. So I get a lot of movies. And what's nice about this is you can uh, reduce it down and you can watch it just like you would in your. You can watch it in a window, and so I can be working on the computer with the TV operating in the background, and then when something good comes on on the TV, I can flip over and watch the TV and just open up the screen. Now uh, this comes with that I show you here it comes with I'll show you there's there's the USB block I won't unplug it because I don't want to do anything uh, right now while it's running but it comes with the USB and then you can just see I've got my antenna wire my antenna wire is running from that antenna we installed out there and it just hooks in just like a standard antenna it hooks into that and then hooks into this USB uh, plug that goes into the USB port and you should use a high-speed USB port uh, for the best reception and then it also comes with one of these little units here. Uh, now again this is made by Hopage. It comes with an extender so if your USB port isn't where you want to uh, hook into right into the side of your computer it, they send you a nice little USB extender so that's good. It also comes with a portable antenna okay and uh, I'll show you this if I can get it screen there we go it comes with a portable antenna that's just a small antenna but if you're in the city and I would take this with me if I was going someplace away from the cabin where I'm not going to have my antenna, of course. They come with these little portable antennas included with these hapage units. And you can just put that out uh, and, and uh, use that so you could still get TV reception wherever you are. And it comes with a pretty decent length of cord. And so you could just set that out on your desk. 
and go ahead and watch TV using the portable antenna. It does come with an installation disc. You'll have to read the instructions, follow the installation, but it was it was set up in like 10 minutes. I was completely set up. Again, this is made by Hopage. I got this off Amazon for about $49. So altogether, I spent 40 bucks for the antenna. I spent uh, $49 for the USB port. I already had my cable. You will need a cable if you don't have one. But I already had the cable from my old antenna. So altogether, you're looking at maybe 90, 90 bucks, 100 bucks at the most. Uh, and you got TV, uh, digital, good t digital TV on your computer or on a TV if you want to use your TV. And it will work for both. Uh, and uh, this way I can watch uh, TV now while I'm working on the computer, which is kind of nice. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do like to catch a movie or something, just relax, or maybe watch the news and find out what's going on uh, that I don't get off the Internet sometimes. So this is going to be a lot of fun and not that much money, and it's a one-time expense where for uh, if you're paying for satellite or if you're paying for cable, you're paying them that dang monthly bill, and those monthly bills is what kills you. So I'm trying to get away from any monthly bills, so I only use the over-the-air free uh, TV, and I can still download movies using Netflix or one of the other, Hulu or one of those if I want to watch a movie, or I can get a Redbox movie if I want to watch a movie. Well, there's lots of services out there now for a small amount of money you can download or free stream uh, movies, so I use those for movies. But for just watching regular TV, this is going to work out great. All right, folks. Uh, you wanted to know how I run a TV and get my entertainment here at the cabin. So that's, that's my one source of my entertainment there is now I'll be able to watch some TV on my computer. Hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Hope you'll give it a like. Uh, go by my website, simpsolarhomesteading.com, for more information on all the different systems I use for off-grid. Thanks and have a great day, everybody.